Okay, now I'm going to go around the bits that I want to keep. Okay, I'm just using a paper towel and I'm, I'm just pushing it back. It's starting to go stiff. There's a few bubbles and I have to push it. I'm just pushing back. Okay, I'll just show you closer what I've done. And so I just keep wiping back to get these shapes. So what I'm trying to do is to make it look like just a whole lot of little flittering butterflies. And I'm going to do work over the top, multiple layers, but this is a base. So I picked out the bits that I like the best out of that background that I had. Now this painting is going to be called Finding Ulysses. Ulysses is a beautiful blue butterfly, Australian butterfly. And when I went to the butterfly sanctuary, I was or I had my camera and I was trying to, I took photographs of lots of them and I was all the time trying to find Ulysses. So I'm just going to do a little tiny bit of very fine dribbling just to get a bit of movement in a few areas. Receptacle so I can do some finer dribbling. I bought, I bought these Posca pens and I'm going to do a little bit of hand work. I've already done a little bit here, if you can see. So this is fine with resin. You can put resin over the top of these. Well, when it's dry, you have to make sure it's dry. I'm just doing a little bit of fine detail of the white on white. Just a little bit. I'm going to do some more on other layers. So that's just with those pens and, and some paint, hand painting as well. So I'm going to do that in different areas and I'll show you when I've finished. So it's nice subtle sort of lacy detail of the butterfly wings. Okay, I'm doing another layer of resin, so this will be my well, third full layer of resin. And this is clear resin I'm pouring this time. I will now wait for um, 
a few days for this to dry before I do anything else over the top of it. I could work over it tomorrow. Okay, I sanded the surface all over and I sanded the edges and I've put some fabric tape around the edges and it's ready for me to do some, I'm going to do some small blooms of transparent resin. So I'll show you now. Okay. I've mixed up a small amount of art resin in a cup and stirred it until the stringiness is gone. And I've left it for a while because I want it to be slightly stiff. So I'm going to, I'm going to divide it into some smaller cups. Okay, I've mixed up a little bit of uh, some black in resi tint into some clear a bit black all over again. I'm going to use some resi tint. This is a sea blue. I'm going to put it over here so I don't squirt it on there. Just a tiny drop. That's nice. Now it's going to be diluted again because I'm going to pour it into a pool of clear resin. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this because I'm going to fill it up a lot. Now, I want to create a, a tonal, uh, some weight using tone. So I'm going to do some tone and colours and that will then blend, will bleed out there into white. And I'm going to do some over the top of the line work on another layer on top of these colours. So I'm going to do a pool. Remember, a lot goes a long way, even if you're only doing small pools of it. And I'm doing the pools a long way apart. Because I don't want them to join up. Okay, I'll just show you what I, I did. Now, it's, it's, um, it's actually was getting quite tacky while I was doing it. Because I was mixed up very small amounts of resin with pigment, um, resi tints and, and the pigment paste, it actually was hardening very quickly. Uh, I did leave it for a while, so that's probably half of it. Um, now, I just in dribbling dribbling into the colours that are there and I'm pretty certain that it's actually not going to move any more than this because it's quite stiff. Quite an interesting looking pour with silver and, and blues and some a crimson and I'm using I'm using a spoon, so I'm actually picking out the bits of the pour I want.
Okay, this is, this is what I did. So I'm doing some quite ribbony pores, but they'll end up being knocked back a lot. I'm really liking this bit here. So I'm going to do a, bit, a lot more handwork like that. I just need some darker tones at the top to play with some layers. That's coming along. I'm just working on this little little group of butterflies here. Um, just doing a little bit of handwork on them just to get a little bit of three dimension. So as you can see, there's the blue blue part of the butterfly that goes right down to the base layer of resin. So that's a resin layer right through the bottom there. And then I've done a little bit of on subsequent layers, I've done some little bit of silver um, dots and now this layer, this top clear layer, I'm just doing a little bit of handwork and so this part of the wing, yeah it's an abstract butterfly, now this part of the wing is is closest to, that's where I'm creating a sort of sense of depth, so that's depth, so that is closest to me, so I've made it slowly, I'm slowly sort of blending it in, so I'm just making it blend in, just with some little tiny strokes of brush, so and then just disappearing off into very pale, just sort of watering it down as it gets down, down further, so that's the deep, the, that's further away so it's darker in tone, and this is lighter up here, so it's lighter in tone. So the subsequent layers that I put on top, I will make that, I'll just keep highlighting that part there so it really pops forward um, on the next layer. So I need a bit of the blue. Just done a whole lot of um, handwork over the top of this. Um, I'll just show you. Just trying to create a bit of three dimension in some spots, which won't become obvious until I actually put the next layer on. Just wipe this all down with a bit of alcohol on a cloth before I do my next layer. And I've got some. I carve in spray, it's a varnish, and this will help to seal the surface. So I'm just going to spray that all over it. I've built another wall. I painted the sides of the painting. I took off the wall and I painted them, neatened up the edge. Now I've just built a wall with some um, cloth tape, and I'm going. I've just mixed up a load of resin. I'm going to do a flow of resin and a little tiny bit of some lacing, just a little tiny wind bit, just to give another sense of transparency, just in a few little spots. So I'm going to try some, I've got some resi blast and I haven't used it before, so it's a bit of an experiment, let's hope it works. I'm going to leave this just for a little while and let's hope this doesn't look too hard. Just for a little while because I want it, I don't want this to move very much. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it for a little while. I'm just going to cover it. Make sure nothing falls in there. And then I'm going to come back and do that bit of white, little bit of white resin with resi glass.